Did Kim Kardashian really get an inmate of 23 years released from jail? Welcome back to Bingeworthy Network. Kim Kardashian West is known for a lot of things, from her successful reality TV show to her makeup and sportswear businesses. There's nothing Kim can't do. The mother of four has been a staple of Hollywood culture for over a decade now. With her huge influence and fans following Kim, she always tries to bring awareness to more important things in life. And while many in the world know exactly who Kim Kardashian West is, not many know that she is more than just a reality star or Kanye West's wife. For the last couple of years, Kim has been dedicating her life to prison reform laws and is actually planning on becoming a lawyer. The Kardashian sister hopes she will one day be a successful lawyer, just like her late father, Robert Kardashian. And while Kim K has yet to pass the law bar exam, she has already helped out one prisoner. In today's video, let's see how exactly Kim Kardashian West helped to release an inmate from prison. Momolu Stewart is a 39-year-old who has been serving his time in prison for 23 years. At 16, Stewart and his friends murdered a young man, and both criminals were sentenced to spend the rest of their lives behind bars. But after more than 20 years without freedom, Stewart was released in October of 2019, thanks to Mrs. Kardashian West. The reality TV star found out about the inmate from the Georgetown University Prisoner Scholar Program and even had the chance to speak to him one-on-one. -on -one. After getting to know Momolu and seeing how remorseful he was about his past, Kim decided to write an open letter to the DC Superior Court Judge, Robert Solano. The reality TV star pleaded for his release, and as we know now, her attempt was successful. But before we get to the letter and Kim's role in the system, let's take a look at Momolo Stewart's life and see exactly how he ended up killing an innocent man. The inmate had a rough life, even before he wound up behind bars. In an open letter to the DC Superior Court Judge, Robert Solano, Kim Kardashian opens up about Stewart's life and describes that he has been led down a wrong path. Kim explains how at the age of six, his mother killed his college professor father. As a young child without a father, the boy had no real guidance or support in the world. His negligence led Stewart to turn to the streets for the guidance he was seeking so desperately. His DC neighborhood was notoriously overrun with drugs, alcohol, and violence, and eventually, the rough environment made an impact on the inmate. After years of troublemaking and illegal actions, Stewart was found guilty of killing a man at the age of 16. The teenager admitted to murdering a man alongside his friend and recalls how he had no excuses for his action. When visiting Stuart in his cell, Kim recalls how she and Momolu had a long talk about his rough past. We spoke about his crime and he openly admitted that he had shot and killed another young man and that he has to live with that reality every day. While most of his life was spent in guilt and remorse, Momolu somehow found the strength to move forward with his life. Instead of getting into prison fights and making trouble, Stewart decided to apply himself into studies and work. Because Momolu was sent behind bars during his teenage years, he never had the chance to graduate from high school. During his time in prison, he studied hard and got his GED degree. Stewart also participated and took classes through the Georgetown Prison Scholars Program, and that's how Kim got the word of the convicted felon. He helped set up programs to help other prisoners. He took every opportunity to reimagine his life while staying completely out of trouble, says the reality star in her open letter. So, now that we know Stuart actually killed the young man with his friend, why was he released from prison? Well, according to Kim's letter, initially the killers were given the verdict of serving life in prison, but the rules apply a little bit differently to underage criminals. The Incarceration Reduction Amendment Act of 2016 allows criminals under the age of 18 who have served at least 20 years in prison to have their sentences reduced. This act only works if the criminal in mind is no longer dangerous and has had some sort of rehabilitation. 
While Momolu has requested a petition for the reduction of his life sentence, his plea was denied. Kim Kardashian explains in her letter how Momolu is a model citizen who has demonstrated clear rehabilitation, and yet his petition was still being opposed. With the help of Kim and her convincing letter, the reality TV star explained how Stewart would no longer be a threat to his community, but just the opposite. Mrs. West says confidently that Momolu would be a real asset to his community. Not only was Stewart's request denied, but his friends and even fellow killers had been released from prison under the same act. Kim says, while both of his friends, Harlem and Kareem, have gotten out and gone on to continue productive lives, Momolu is still stuck behind bars, unable to realize his potential. She adds, without relief, Momolu will remain in prison until at least 2041, when he will be 61 years old. While the reason why Momolu's case was not accepted is not known, Kim continues to request his case be reviewed once again. The Keeping Up with the Kardashian star continues to explain why Stewart should have a reduced life sentence. While he cannot go back and change what happened when he was 16 years old, he takes responsibility for the pain he has caused to the victim's family and feels true remorse for his role in the crime that resulted in the loss of life. Kim finishes the letter by humbly requesting compassion and humanity in supporting the release of Momolo Stewart. I also have every confidence that upon his release, he will continue to guide others away from life of crime and continue on his path to redemption and success. Well, who could have guessed that the Keeping Up with the Kardashian star would one day help out a prisoner get out of jail? Momolo Stewart was released in October of 2019 and finally reunited with his family, who he hasn't seen since 1997. On his release day, Stewart was met with a dozen friends outside the DC Central Detention Facility, and Stewart's closest people awaited as they could hug and embrace the inmate. Momolu made a comment how the first thing he would do is spend time with his mother and other family members. The inmate adds, just appreciate the things that were taken away from me when I was such a young man. You know, just the smell of trees, just live life and honor life. As you can imagine, his entire family was overwhelmed by the inmate's release. Stewart's stepfather, Ronald Smith, admits how the inmate went through an incredible transformation. It's been a beautiful transformation. I've seen him come from a troubled, emotional youth to a secure, mature man. Even before he was released, Momolo Stewart had a few job offers on the line. The inmate made a promise that he would continue to live his life in an honorable way by working, taking care of his family and appreciating life. As Stewart says himself, he was suffocated before Kim Kardashian West helped to free him from prison. I was buried alive, so now I've been resurrected. I'm back and I'm better, the former inmate said to Oxygen. We await to see what Momolo Stewart achieves after his time in prison. The whole world wishes to see an incredible transformation and progress from the former inmate who is now free to work, walk and see his family and friends. So, now that her first ever mission is complete, what's next for Kim Kardashian? While most law students have to do four gruesome years of law school and then take the bar exam, Kim K has done it a little differently. Four states, California, Washington, Vermont, and Virginia allow a four-year-long law apprenticeship. This means Kim has to learn from fellow lawyers Erin Haney and Jessica Jackson. The reality TV star opened up about her decision in an Instagram post saying, Last year I registered with the California State Bar to study law. For the next four years, a minimum of 18 hours a week is required. I will take written and multiple choice tests monthly. As my first year is almost coming to an end, I am preparing for the baby bar, a mini version of the bar, which is required when studying law this way. Even though Kim's route to becoming a lawyer truly is unconventional, there are people who have done it successfully in the past. Research published by the National Conference of Bar Examiners explained how 70 people out of 70,000 decided to go through law school just like Kim. 
At the end of the day, Kim still has to take the California bar exam in order to become an official lawyer, and as statistics show, the California bar exam is one of the hardest to pass in the United States. Season 16 of Keeping Up with the Kardashians even captured the moments of Kim studying and getting ready for law school. Kim K had even told her late father that she had interest in criminal justice as a child. Even her mother, Kris Jenner, was surprised by Kim's dedication and says she is very proud of her daughter. Kim Kardashian is the real-life version of Elle Woods from Legally Blonde, an it girl turned successful lawyer. Kim even dressed up as Elle for Halloween. The resemblance is uncanny. Hi, I'm Elle Woods, and for my admissions essay, I'm going to tell all of you at Harvard why I'm going to be an amazing lawyer. And this is the story of how Kim Kardashian helped an inmate be released from prison after serving 23 years behind bars. This successful prison release story is just the first of Kim Kardashian West. As the mother of four awaits until she receives a law degree, we have a feeling she will participate more in prison reforms and acts. This goes to show that even though she has already made a name for herself as a reality TV star, there are no boundaries when it comes to passion and dreams. Kim Kardashian West was more than ecstatic to see Momolo Stewart get back control of his life. Do you think Kim will become a successful lawyer like her father Robert Kardashian? Will we see more success stories from Mrs. Kardashian West? Thanks for watching and goodbye everyone.